Prime Minister Tony Abbott has made his second visit to South Australia in quick succession and again promised to do what he can to create jobs. But critics say his latest visit is about saving his own job. Twice in nine days, Tony Abbott packing in trips to South Australia. Local jobs on his mind as he met workers and toured the Thomas Foods plant in Lobethal. Enjoying it? Yeah, it's good work. Well, that's the important thing, isn't it? The Prime Minister is trying to stake a claim for the hearts of South Australian voters, with a federal election due next year. This is a great state, uh, and I want the people of South Australia to grasp a better future. But in the wake of further job cuts at shipbuilder ASC this week, Tony Abbott deflected claims the government is not doing enough to save the workforce at Osborne. Everything we humanly can to get our naval shipbuilding back on track and that's why we've brought forward by two years the a Corvette build. If they want to make up for their two years of neglect to our state, they can start by just keeping their pre-election promise that they would build 12 submarines in Adelaide. The PM again hinting a state federal deal on the $1.1 billion Northern Connector is close, a project which would generate hundreds of local jobs. And my understanding is that just about everyone in South Australia wants it to crack on as quickly as possible. And following this latest SA stopover, and with the safety of some Liberal seats and the PM's own popularity in question... Can we expect a similar level of attention between now and the next election? I think you can certainly uh, expect lots of visits and uh, I'm delighted that you're so keen to have me. Uh, <laughs> And political reporter Rory McLaren joins us now. Rory, the Prime Minister's got a much bigger day in Adelaide tomorrow. Yes, he is, Kate. And uh, Tony Abbott will be speaking at the State Liberal Party's annual general meeting. He'll be standing side by side with State Opposition Leader Stephen Marshall, who'll be hoping the PM continues his good news push into South Australia, improving not just the party's federal election prospects for next year, but also for the state poll, which is still just under three years away. Brenton? Right. Thanks, Rory. See you more of him.